right, Uncle Sam FM here, and uh, first of all, allow me to apologize. The last video that I posted, there was a sound error, and I did not catch it because, um, I mean, there's no excuse for this, but I was kind of in a hurry, so I didn't really listen to it, and apparently there was some issue with my mic. I wish I could tell you that I knew exactly what it was, and I fixed it, but I really don't. I'm not sure what happened, but I've... Um, did a couple things, uninstalled drivers, reinstalled, whatever, and it seems to be working now. So what I'm going to do is, because, well, the video that I posted had that problem going on, and then I made another video after that one that still had the same problem. And so I've advanced pretty far into this season, and um, which is the, the kind of mistake that I make, because I'm really not... I dabble... I dip my feet into a lot of things, but I never get really super good at anything. And so this is really what happens to people like me. So uh, I'm going to remove that video that was up. And for this video, I'm just going to kind of recap, show you where, where I am. Uh, the, la the, video, the last video that I posted was um, kind of a live com of my match against VMI. This was my last regular season game against the Virginia Military Institute. And I went in, I was one point behind Furman, and Furman was done with their season, and this was our last match of the season. And so I needed to win this match to win the regular season conference championship. Furman beat me in the regular season, so they had the head-to-head -head advantage. So a draw would only get me one point that would tie me with Furman, but I, I obviously wanted to win it. So this game was big, and I, as you can see by the score, I pretty much controlled the run of play and dominated. Um, we, I'm going to show you the goal highlights here. It's the first was a corner kick to Oloski, and uh, then Jones slips the defender and has a, just slots it home past the goalkeeper for the second goal. There we have another corner kick goal. That was Gordon, my other center back. Both my center backs scored in the first half. And then Jones scores in the 28th minute. So all my goals in this match came in the first 28 minutes so that was a big win because it gave me the conference uh regular season conference championship so we'll look at that and just look real quick at the conference table um there you can see um we you know we won five lost one the one loss was to Furman all right Furman was four one and one uh, again, they were up by one point heading into that last game, but they had the head-to-head -head tiebreaker, which that was would have made the difference. But I, I got the win against VMI, so I win the uh, Southern Conference regular season championship, finish the regular season with an 11-2 record, which sent me to the um, SOCON tournament. And again, spoiler, I won the SOCON tournament by finishing first, uh, what I, I did get myself a buy past not only the wild card round but the quarterfinal, as the wild card was the two last place teams battled it out, and then they would join the next three, high, uh, next three teams on the table uh, in the quarterfinal, and then the top two teams play uh, were automatically put into the semifinal, which I had already guaranteed my spot heading into that VMI game in here. Like I would have, even if I'd have lost the VMI, I would have finished second. And that would have got me to the semifinal. But um, in the semifinal, I took on UNC Greensboro. So we'll real quick look at the uh, goals from this match. Put it on watch goal. Let's see if this works properly. Please do. I tested it, but you never know if things are going to work the way it's supposed to. And here, Padone, uh, we, we press high, and he stole the pass for the defender. Um, and then Rodriguez finishes a penalty shot. And then Castaneda, just about three minutes before the half, would get our third goal. And so, again, we did all the damage in the first half. Second half, coasted to the victory and ousted UNC Greensboro, which sent us to the final where we would play our nemesis, Furman. Um, now, this match um, really, let's see if they'll show the red card. I was not playing well. In fact, Furman was the better team for the first half hour of the match. And then this happened. Uh, James Puntillo 
comes in from behind, slide tackles Bear in my uh, defensive mid, and gets himself sent off. It was an automatic call. Um, I did. I had made a change like right before that, a tactical change that turned the game. And so, uh, I, you know, I, who knows, right? But a, if I would have been able to win, even had Puntillo not been sent off, but he was, and the game definitely turned after that. And uh, in the second half, it took a little while, but we got a penalty that Lee easily puts home, and then a corner kick that Begay heads into the goal, and so. We win the conference tournament with a 2-0 to zero win over Furman, and that got us an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament where we are now um, set to play Maryland. Now, I'm not going to do the live comm in this video. I'll do it in the next video, but I uh, still wanted to um, catch you up to speed on where we are. So we, we won the conference tournament regular season, or sorry, we won the conference regular season title, the SoCon regular season title then we won the tournament and the tournament's how you get the automatic bid for your conference um stat, uh, statistically we'll look at our team stats um i don't know if I, I don't remember what i had been posting in the videos but um making that move where i benched castaneda for lucitero for a couple of matches really paid off um as you can see lucitero he's on he's with the second 11 and he has six starts, whereas Begay and Maldonado only have four. So he got two starts, those other two guys didn't. And that um, lit a fire under, under Castaneda, but it probably it looked like, seems like it also did under Jones and Padone because in the last five games, those two got, those that, that, the front three have really been dominant. Um, Jones has six goals now. Uh, Padone has five, has an assist. Castaneda has a couple goals. He's got three assists. So those three guys have been playing really well since I gave Lucitero a couple starts. And so that seemed to have made a difference. Um, and got to credit my back line um, as Olaski, Gordon, Rodriguez. I've said all along that's the weakness of the team. But as you can see in the last four, they have not given up a goal. And that match against Leola Marymount, uh, actually, you know what? That was them who gave up that tying goal because <laughs> I started my second team and subbed my first eleven in. But um, but e e either way, uh, the back line has really done the job because um, you know if you can go what six games and only give up one goal, then you know that's that's pretty good. Uh, that Furman game where we lost, um, that was <laughs> that was probably rock bottom for the back line. And it was kind of a wake-up call, and they um, so since then they've got things done. Got to got to give them credit where that is due, as um, they've done well. Not not only in the last five games, but you look at Olaski and Gordon; they've rated pretty highly in the season, and they've contributed up front. They each have a couple goals uh, off of obviously set pieces. Rodriguez, uh, I think he's my penalty taker. Um, I think he has a decent penalty stat. Yeah, he's got a nine, which I'm not the greatest penalty-taking team. We won't go through and look at all of them, but that's that's definitely true. So, um, yeah, uh, embarrassing mistake with the video. I do apologize. Uh, a couple guys pointed out in the comments. So I'll own that, you know. I, I really just did not pay attention when I, 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 I listened to, like, four seconds of it when I was, um, you know, making sure it, it recorded and obviously that four seconds worked and so i just threw it up there like a moron um so uh you know i do apologize for that the next video will probably be kind of a special tournament video where um we see how far i make it but the truth is maryland and we'll kind of preview that game maryland is maryland's one of the most dominant programs in college soccer as you can see they've won 21 acc championships that's really impressive They've won the ACC tournament six times. Um, they've uh, they uh, and now they're in the Big Ten, right? So they moved from the ACC to the Big Ten. They've not been there that long, but they've already won the conference three times, conference regular season three times, and they won the conference tournament three times. So uh, obviously, great program. Uh, here you can see some of their their legends, Jason Gary. Um, I, I remember him. You may not, but uh, Taylor Twellman. A lot of people know Taylor Twellman from you know his days with the national team. He didn't. I think he played pretty much his whole career in New England, though. So um, Stephen King, not the author, but I remember him. Danny Califf, uh, another guy that I remember. Obviously, these are kind of MLS specific names. There's not. They may not have produced a lot of guys who um, 
made it, you know, overseas. But, uh, you know, I, I hate Patrick Mullins. Omar Gonzalez, there you go. That's one that um, he's a standout. Graham Zussi, uh, I think he's played his whole career. He played his whole career in MLS, but obviously, you know, great player. AJ De La Garza, Chris Seitz, who's not as well known, but was, you know, decent goalkeeper. Uh, oh, Zach Steffen, there you go. Zach Steffen played at Maryland. He now is with Manchester City. Um, so, obviously, a historic program, and that's our opponent for the uh, first round of the NCAA tournament. Not a great draw for us because that's they're going to be a tough team. As we look at their um, uh, their squad, um, I don't have I don't get a scouting report. I guess my my scout um, <laughs> took a nap, <laughs> took a took a vacation. Oh, he's, maybe he's quarantining himself. That's probably what he's quarantining himself. So he did not get a scouting report on the Maryland. So I won't know anything about these guys. Well, we can look at their stats. Um, so squad statistics. Looks like they're pretty balanced. This guy, Walt Clayty, <laughs> uh, does have seven goals, two assists. He's a striker. Looks like they play a 4-2-3-1. Um, yeah, I'd have, I'll have to... I probably should have done a little more looking into this before. But... Um, you know, I don't even really need to know that they're going to be a good team. Um, they're going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to be a major challenge. Uh, looks like they didn't do have a great season by their standards. Um, only made it to the semifinal, the Big Ten tournament. Uh, we'll look at the conference. They did win the conference regular season title though in the Big Ten, and that that is a pretty stacked conference. So, so in the next video, uh, we'll do a live com against Maryland and. Any other opponents that I have in the NCAA tournament, I might edit it down. But that's um, that's what the next video will be. Again, I apologize for uh, the last that video. That was just carelessness by me. Um, I really need to work on testing stuff a little more before I record those videos. But uh, this is Uncle Sam FM signing off, and I will see you in the NCAA tournament.